this video I'm going to teach you how to wrap a wine bottle or any type of bottle that you want to give as a gift. I'm using the cellophane. This is 40 inches um, and the way I did it was I put um, painter's tape to measure it. Since I'm doing a lot of them that saves me a lot of time. And this is about 34 inches you can make it bigger if you want but that's the size that I use and then I'm also using this tool that comes in a roll and I let me see about how much was that about 23 inches this is about 23 inches okay so what you do is you grab a cellophane and notepad you measure it make sure it's even and then you grab the other side to make sure that's even. If it isn't, just center it. Just measure it. Okay. And draw both sides. Bring the, the sides to the top. Sides to the top. Okay, and then this the side. And just gather it up and hold it with one hand and you're going to do exactly the same thing that you did on that side. Just grab the middle first, that's easier I think. Just grab the middle first and then the sides. And you want to arrange them. Okay, so then you just sponge it up in the middle and then I used a bowl. I made a bowl. Um, this has three loops on each side and it's the wired edge uh, bow and then I used the curling ribbon so then what I did was I grabbed one side and then the other side don't let go of the, of the paper and then well, you're going to tie a knot on the back make sure it's tight and then you're going to bring it to the front and then you're going to tie another knot and tie it. just reinforce it with another knot okay and then you could either curl the ribbon or leave it i cut it instead of it because i'm using the tool so then i grab the piece of tool that i had already pre-cut and I'm just going to tie it around, center it, and just tie it around. Okay, you could leave it as it is, but since I do gift baskets, I like to have it stand out. So, and I just make sure it's all one side. So I'm going to cut the top. Turn it out and then do another cut. Make sure it's even. Then you fan it out and then you rearrange the, the bow. And there you have it. You can even use, um, since I did a bunch of them, I learned that if I stack them all up, I cut them all up first, then I can do them faster. This is another one that I did with a snowflake, and that's how you do it. Thank you for watching.